What is up, Man 25 gamers? Welcome to today's video. Today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at a Man 25 money route, and we're gonna be taking a look at this inside. Uh, this is a route we want to use uh, when we get in about the 20 uh, to 10 at range here, um, and, and actually, you can use it a little bit more than that. But uh, the play comes. Uh, you can actually make the hot route. You actually have access to the hot route uh, in game. Uh, but they also have it uh, in some of our stock plays, and so uh, I wanted to uh, quickly see if I could find it here in the Giants playbook. Uh, but basically, I think we might be able to use this play Giants Smash, this triangle route. Uh, we're going to go ahead and sub in Jimmy uh, Graham. If I can find him, where did I go here? There we go. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put Jimmy Graham in. But basically, when you get to about the 20-yard line, uh, you have a little bit of a window here for some uh, fade routes to the outside. I don't think this route to Jimmy Graham is actually going to work the way I want it to. Now you see it gets picked. You get that pick animation. Uh, but basically what we want to do here, and this is why it only works to about the 10 yard line, because inside the 10, when you try to put your outside receivers on fade routes, you see they go on those little short fades. What we want them to be on is those longer uh, exaggerated fades. You see that right there, that, that longer exaggerated fade. Uh, so real quickly, I'm going to hop out of this and see if I can find a, uh, a formation I like a little bit better for uh, this type of attack here. But it's just uh, it's a hot route. You can make it out of any play. Uh, what I really like to do is I really like to go to my shotgun split flex formation, uh, and I like to use my concepts. Uh, I discussed a, a couple videos back about the mesh, why the mesh is very important uh, in terms of sets within a set. Uh, real quickly, for those of you that were having some trouble, uh, that only works on next gen as far as I know. Uh, so if you're on PS, uh, if you're on like PS2 or whatever, uh, you might be facing some issues. So wanted to make that quick disclaimer. Unfortunately, I didn't think to do it last video. But anyway, what we want to do here is we want to call the play mesh. We can come out in it or we can call it and we want to do the audible technique I discussed a couple videos back. But basically when we run mesh, if I remember right, I think that it's the left side. Uh, when you don't run it flipped. If you run it flipped, obviously you can use it the other way around. But basically, we're going to put that receiver on a fade route. And now what you'll see here is if we throw it with a down and an outside pass lead, you see he's going to get that really uh, massive jump animation. Now what's interesting to note is you can get that out of just a regular two-man under. So it doesn't just have to be that um, bumpable. You see it's going to be every single one. And remember, it's a it's a down and away pass lead. So about uh, 8 o'clock if you're throwing it to the left. And you don't want to throw it, as you saw there, it wasn't in a situation where he was in the end zone. You want to throw it uh, once he gets close to the end zone uh, so that he's catching it in the end zone. If he's not catching it in the end zone, it won't work properly. Uh, so what we like to do here is we like to block both running backs. And another thing I might do is I maybe put Kenny Stills on a drag, and I'll put those two rocket catch fades out there, and I'm just saying go up and get it, big fella, and um, and, and that's just kind of what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do it, you know, maybe two. Uh, sometimes I've even done it three times. Sometimes I've even done it three times in the in this uh, kind of short yardage area of the field. You see, it works really great to guys like Jimmy Graham and uh, Marquise Colson, and you know maybe this is another reason to use teams like the Saints. You know, we've kind of been using teams like uh, you know the Bengals because they have a good defense, or um, the Patriots because their receivers are small and uh, nimble and can get in out of cuts. But maybe this is a reason that we start using receivers with bigger catch and traffic ratings um, but I, I am uh, and another thing is that this works against zone uh, as well so if we're going to audible here to a cover three and so these inside fades again or not those inside the outside uh, fades when you put them on fades pass like down to the outside when they get in the end zone you see how they're going to get that jump animation it's very consistent and it works against man and it also works against zone here we're going to take a look at a cover four we're still throwing that fade and we're going to throw it down and away and you see again colston just going to have that animation uh, it does work better in my personal experience uh, to the left side for whatever reason uh, but it just does work better a little bit to the left side but pass like down and away and you see you always are going to get that kind of one-on-one -on -one animation it does work to the right it may just be that I'm a little bit worse at throwing the ball to the right side of the field uh, but it is what it is my experience works better to the left remember the pass leads seven o'clock for the left and um, about three or even four uh, probably four o'clock 
uh, for the right. And there I got just straight up sack lunch sandwich. Uh, but what's really powerful about this play is the ability to use those uh, kind of in tight concepts to make it work even better. And uh, that's how we're going to destroy the defense. Remember this works from the 20 yard line to about the 10 yard line. You have this opportunity to take advantage of it. If you have a guy like Jimmy Graham or Marcus Colson to make that nice user catch. Thanks for your time today. If you found this video beneficial, please leave a like rating below. And also, if you could tell me who's your favorite big play receiver in Madden 25 aside from Calvin Johnson. Is it Larry Fitzgerald? Is it Jimmy Graham? Uh, is it A.J. Green? Uh, let me know what you guys think. Thanks a lot for your time. See you guys later.